Well, that blows that one out of the water, unless Japan has a 40th of November 1991. Maybe they mean 4th of November 1991. <laughs> this is the other drive, by the way. Just in case you were wondering, there's some more capacitors down there. Ah, SMDs. No one likes SMD electrolytics. Anyway, here's the uh, pads. Let's get them focused. You'll see they're very dull looking. Yep, those capacitors had already started leaking. We have a look at the other drive. The solder is still very shiny, which is a good thing. It means they hadn't leaked yet on that one. Dull and corroded looking. Shiny. And that's how you want them. You want them to be shiny. So get some solder, let's reflow it. making it worse. Reflow! Why does my soldering iron smell like a birthday cake? Wow! This burning anti-static bubble wrap smells like birthday candles melting. Gotta be more careful with my soldering iron. God knows what sort of fumes I just inhaled. Delicious ones though. And we're recapped. So just to recap, the caps have been recapped. <laughs> um, negatives were to the right. When you're looking at the back. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. For all my longtime subscribers, uh, I can't keep up with your comments anymore. There's just too many. I'll try going through them tonight, but I do read every one of them. That was a close one. I somehow managed to lift uh, not one, but almost two pads off one capacitor, uh, where one capacitor was sitting. Um, we'll have a look here at what I've done. So you got your standard electrolytic radials there. No problem with those two. Oh my God, there's a red trace wire. So the pad on the left lifted up completely and it's now sitting over here. And luckily there was a via right next to the thing. So I poked a little wire through and soldered that on, checked I've got continuity, soldered the wire to the leg, bent in an upward fashion. And the other pads still got continuity, but for how long? So there you go. I must have wiggled it too hard when I used the pliers. Ah oh well, looks cool now. Function over form. Excellent. We are progressing well. Here comes a bad block. It's 
quite a few. I think this drive was actually the the most bad block drive of them all. But uh, there are no flames coming out the sides of the drive, so <laughs> we'll consider that a success. Even though the uh, little red wire gives it a bit of flare, it's yeah, not ideal, is it really? Underneath we have the terror drive, just in for those of you who haven't seen one before. Recap this, and then we have the uh, Discon module plugged into the XT IDE card, which works a charm. Power is stolen from there. And there you go, so I'm going to give these three drives a test. And that, that is done. This is no new bad sectors, that's good. Thanks for watching.